TV, first off, you know, welcome back. Uh, just kind of what's it like now under a little bit of a new direction here? And if you can, just give us some insight into, you know, it was the draft and the portal, and then you come back here. What kind of brought you back back to Arkansas for your junior season? Uh, you know, after the season, um, you know, obviously I wanted to go, you know, test. You know, I kept in contact with, uh, you know, Coach Cow and the staff and, you know, um, what they do is you already know what they do. So, um, you know, coming back was it was it was a no brainer for me. I guess read you back to the mind saying how you think practice is going. I know, uh, you know, some of you guys like I do, you, you, you played for Cal, obviously but for the other guys. It's a new deal. Just how do you think practice is going? Maybe just start left to right. I mean, I feel like it's going well. You know, he's pushing us but beyond our limits and just trying to make us uncomfortable and like getting in that mode of just playing fast and, you know, doing exactly as he's asking us to do. Uh, Like what Boogie said, they're kind of all learning everything. You know, I played for Cal. This is going to be my third year. So I've already, you know, experienced all of this. So they're kind of learning everything and everything is just coming together great. Everybody's uncomfortable, becoming more comfortable with everything. Uh, he tells us uh, your mind should be moving slow as your feet are moving fast. So we just in the gym grinding every day. Uh, you know, I'm obviously I'm not, you know, new to, you know, the SEC. So I've played Coach Cal for three years. Um, but, you know, the you never really know how hard the practices are, you know, how much attention to detail, you know, a coach has until, you know, you're actually in practices with him and, this summer has been a lot of, you know, good individual stuff and uh, just kind of, you know, setting the culture for the year. I do. I think, you know, you, I believe at the time I've got the timeline, right. You entered the transfer portal before coach Cal left. I'm curious kind of what led you back to coach Cal, you know, here at Arkansas. Um, There were a, a, a lot of conversations behind the scenes. Uh, I know I talked to him probably three, four times in three different states in a week span. So, you know, from anybody looking at that, that kind of makes a difference in everything. TV, I had a question for you. I mean, you've been through, you know, must practices and now been through some cow practices. I'm just curious, what, how are they similar? How are they different? I would say they're different. Um, you know, like I said, it's more we're working on individual stuff. Um, you know, throughout the summer, you know, with, with Mus was more, we were doing, you know, team practices and stuff. And, you know, we just did a lot of individual work this summer. Um, and, you know, just, just setting the culture. Boogie, uh, what's, was there any differences in Cal recruiting you, uh, as a Kentucky head coach and then as an Arkansas head coach? I mean, how much maybe did it, you know, I know Cal himself is his own brand, but how much did he have to kind of sell you to on, on coming to, to Arkansas itself? I mean, I want to say it wasn't that big, you know, cause I was already like focused on him at Kentucky. And like when he moved, he was just like, he said the same thing as he said when I was going to Kentucky and then, you know, I just, he didn't really have to do anything big for me to want to go play with him here at Arkansas. You know, I always wanted to, I always knew that I wanted to be with Coach Cal. And, you know, we just made it happen again. See, you know, the role for yourself on this team, uh, do you, you know, point guard, shooting guard, everything. I mean, how how much, you know, what do you kind of see for yourself when when you step on the floor? Uh, definitely a point guard, you know, just being that leader on the court. You know, whatever coach asks me to do, I'll do, you know, making sure me and my teammates is locked in on the court. You know, I'm going to be the coach on the court. I do. Obviously, you come here following Coach Cal, and you have a bunch of other, you know, Kentucky staff guys, and then other players as well. How much is that kind of, kind of continuity kind of helped you settle into the new surroundings? Um, it definitely makes it better because you know, first day here, I was like, oh, like where am I going? I didn't know who to talk to. Well, for a couple of things, but other than that, uh, you know, the staff I'm already comfortable with everybody. Uh, wanting to go get a bite to eat hitting them to figure out, you know, where the good spots to get food, all that, like all that was easy. And just being able to have somebody to talk to and the staff going to the gym with them every day, that just helps a lot. 
Boogie making the transition from New York to Arkansas as a, as a lead guard and then pl- having guys coming in from, from everywhere at this level, who, who are the guys that you're setting up the most on these lobs? And, you know, is it the kind of basketball you're used to back East? It's definitely not, not that I'm used to, but I mean, I want to say everybody, everybody got a little bit of bounce in their step in their game. And, you know, we really just trying to see where everybody like excels at on the floor. You know, that's my job as a point guard to set everybody up in spots where I know they could, you know, score, you know, make a play for others. And yeah. Just in here saying he don't want you shooting threes. Um, how, how, how are you with that? I mean, uh, his resume speaks for itself. So I just try to do what he says. Um, you know, this summer I feel like I've made a lot of progress, you know, uh, you know, with not shooting threes, just, just being in, you know, he calls it an attack dog. So, you know, just trying to be an attack dog. Get into the hole or maybe get into your spot for a 12 footer or what, what does that encompass? Um, he he would just rather see me, you know, take a, a mid range shot. Cause you know, I'm, I'm going to make that more than I make a three probably. Um, but he just wanted to make me see me make faster decisions with the ball in my hands. Um, you know, that's, that's what I worked on a lot this summer. And then he, he also said he knew you were good, but you're even better than he thought. And he, you said something like, yeah, I told you or something like that. I mean, I don't know if he was embellishing that or not. What, what do you remember about that? Uh, yeah, he just about halfway through the summer, he just came up to me and was like, man, I, you're better than I thought you were. And I was, I just told him I told you so. Okay, John said he thought you all probably had four point guard types, some, I guess some combo. Um, just how, how do you feel about the point guard position and yourself and maybe the, the, the help you can get there as well? I mean, I feel like the game is evolving. You know, I feel like in today's world, in today's game, it's not really positions. You know, I feel like we're getting to the point where everybody, even the five man is putting it on the floor, shooting. You know, most, if you look at the NBA, there's it's a lot of threes being shot. There's a lot of big man, versatile big man, you know, putting it on the floor like Jokic. So I feel like as a title of a point guard, it's not really, it's going to get to a point where there's not going to be no titles. It's just going to be, you're going to be a hooper or not. Dude, uh, how physical has it has it been in practice? Uh, you, you seem like a, a guy that can bring some physicality. And then the other question I have, have is when you look at the two rosters you've been you've played for with Cal before transferring, how does this one stack up to some other teams you've been on with Cal? Um, to speak on the physicality, uh, you know, trying to set the tone, bring it every day. You know, we we end up scrapping a little bit, but when we get off the court, it's all love. We know that. Um, but yeah, we try to be as physical as we can because we know the SEC, me and TB, we already played in it. It's super physical, so we try to set the tone, show everybody, like, you got to be tough. And uh, that's what we're doing. What was your second question? Just comparing this, the makeup of this roster to the two that you've already played with, Um, I'd probably say less less guys. Over there, we had we had, we had had a lot of guys. It was you could some, sub somebody in at any position, and they could go out there and play. But now you got um, a set amount of guys where we're all getting comfortable with each other, playing with each other every day, and just getting better, building that team chemistry. Hey, what do you think? This is uh, John L. Nelly, uh, you know, John L. Davis. He's he's made a Final Four with Florida Atlantic, kind of been to the the pinnacle. What has his leadership been like? What a, what has he kind of been bringing to the to the roster here as kind of one of the older guys, and uh, has been somewhere everybody wants to get now. Uh, well, for me, he's been like a big brother to me, you know, like you said, he's been in the final four. So uh, just showing me the way and, you know, showing me how how to like go out there and just do me and the physicality, like you said, or like he said, like the physicality is different and you're going to have to play through some bumps and it's going to be ups and downs. But as long as you look look past that and, you know, get through it, it'll be fine. Um, uh, that On the court, he's a great leader. You know, he comes in, sets the tone. Shows us, you know, you got to be in the gym every day. He has a great work ethic and try and follow after him. Uh, we call him Unk because, you know, he's the Unk of the team. Uh, <laughs> but um, off the court even, too, uh, he was just telling us about how connected you have to be as a team to make it that far in March or, well, April, late April. Yeah. But uh, we just try and, you know, listen to that, build our team chemistry together, you know. Build that brotherhood.
Trevor, when, when you decide, when you went into the portal, you know, everybody, I think everybody thought you're, you're sticking with the draft then you go in the portal. I'm sure you had other interests and, you know, Arkansas, obviously new staff, new players. Did you consider other schools? Uh, do you mind sharing maybe who was reaching out to you and ultimately what, what, what went, what, what, why are you back at Arkansas? I um, you know, I'm not going to, you know, go into specifics about who was um, contacting me, but I mean, yeah, there was, there was other schools contacting me, a lot of SEC schools. Um, I mean, I'm I'm so familiar with uh you know, with it here and you know Calipari coming here and you know we had, we had kept contact the whole my whole draft process so it was just you know it was it was it was a no brainer for me. Yes, you got a bit of a track record for putting guys in the NBA. I know you're a little bit older. You're not a one and done guy, but did, did that enter into it a lot? You feel like yeah, I'm good, and but but he can take me to another level where I could be a high draft pick. Yeah, exactly. Um. Like I said, his resume speaks for itself. You know, the what he did at Kentucky with, you know, guys like DeMarcus Cousins, um, Carly Towns, Anthony Davis. Um, I mean, it's just like it's it's undeniable. So um just coming here and buying into, you know, everything he's saying and everything his staff is saying, it's uh, you know, it's been good. Maybe you guys could just say what what it's been like in an OTB and kind of what do you think of his game after practicing with him for for a little bit now? I mean He's been great. I mean, like you said, he's been improvement each day. You know, more and more each, after each practice, you know, you see more TB. And, you know, the thing that stood out to me is every time he goes up to dunk, his head is like at the rim, if I'll be honest. So he's probably like, him and the dude is probably like the two guys I'll probably throw the most lobs to, if I'll be honest. Uh, I say, I, well, I played him for two years. So I say, I didn't know he was that good. Uh, my first couple of practices with him, I remember this one play. It was we was doing a drill. It was like a three on three drill, basically. I think was it you who threw the lob? Yeah, I think so. Boogie threw a lob from the elbow. I'm standing oh, at yeah. the, I'm standing at like the other elbow, but outside the perimeter, and he throws the lob. I'm like, who's grabbing that? I just see TB. <laughs> Up there, hands at the top of the backboard. I'm like, oh, the ball went through his fingertips. He caught it with his pinky and uh, his ring <laughs> finger. <laughs> Dunked the ball. We, we all just stopped and looked at each other like, oh, like we, did, we, we didn't know he could jump that high. After that, it's just he just kept showing us every day how great of a player he is. And, you know, he's getting better every day.